Hello, <clears throat> welcome to this video. Sort of a channel update, I thought. I'm sort of back, I'm not quite all there. Um, this will be a short video, I'm gonna try to edit it down, uh, get out all the breathing problems and the coughs and everything, but we'll just see how it goes. You may notice some strange edits. Hope not though. As you know, I've been sick for pretty much all year so far. Uh, the bronchitis got worse to the point where I really couldn't even do videos. And it started to get better just about the time I was going to get back into it, beginning of the month. Uh, I got hit by the flu, and that took me out for quite a while, only a week plus. More recovery, and the lungs acted up again. <clears throat> so right now, I've got, uh, you know, in the morning, it's not so bad at all, but the cough gets progressively worse toward the end of the day. Of course, unfortunately, most of the, my video time is in the evening. I'll try to do some stuff in the morning on you know, Saturday or Sunday, as time permits. Uh, that won't be as difficult then. So anyway, what have I been up to? Well, the modeling of, if you saw the work on the Cromwells and the uh, Sherman tank. Now both of those had to stop because I need decals. As it turns out, I had two problems. The first one was I misplaced the decal sheets that have the um, Polish 1st Armored Division uh, logos on them. Now, the decal set that comes with the tanks includes the logo and it includes the Allied Star. The problem is neither of those are the right size for either of the tanks. The actual logo for the division is too large. Uh, the decal sheet actually comes with the tanks. doesn't have some of the other symbols that are specific to the division. Um, but I used to have the decal sheet. I just don't know where I put them. So I had to reorder the decal sheets. And I had to actually order uh, the stars. Well, unfortunately, I got the stars decals from World War. I found it they're the wrong size. Now, British standard uh, stars for the back of Sherman's and um, Cromwell's was a 36-inch rain star on the engine deck. The problem is that what comes with the actual decal uh, set is the 45-inch. It's too big. When you get the um, actual uh, ringed Allied Star sheet from Warlord Games, it's actually, um, there's three sizes, but they are, uh, unfortunately, they're not the right three. They're again 45, I want to say it's 28, and then 20 or something like that. Anyway, sizes I really can't use. So what I'm going to do, uh, middle of this month, March, sorry, I'm going to order from uh, where I'm working with Company B and to actually custom print a de complete decal sheet with all the different ringed stars sizes I will need in 156 scale for typical British armor that I would have in my division. So it'll be an assortment that are not available from World War Games, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> so that's where those two were. Well, since I had a pause in the, that modeling project, and I really couldn't start the jet bikes. I ended up having a situation where, well, I had no real projects uh, to really fill the space. At least not to be videoing. What I was able to do, I was fortunate enough, uh, thanks to uh, the shop that I go to, they were, uh, I was able to get a commission for, uh, to paint up the models in a Infinity starter box. And so that was kind of, different for me as far as you know, it's a whole new game system that I'm not actually playing or getting into but the miniatures are really really neat they're all metal detail is exquisite and they're really very neat sci-fi models so I had some fun doing that it's very different from anything I've done before uh, color scheme wise and some of the effects wise so uh, nice for challenge I'm uh, hoping that the uh, customer liked them uh, I had to circle back with the, with the shop to make sure that everything worked out okay. And right now I'm in the middle of a commission for uh, three patches of tank busters. And of course I love doing orcs. They're actually a very relaxing um, army to paint because you can be wild. It's not monotony. Now, <clears throat> for example, okay, let's just talk about the, the th I have three boxes of tank busters. So there's three sets of each of the five tank busta models and 
three sets of the two different squigs. So there are some guys that are going to be you know, exact duplicates because there's no, you know, modifying these fine cast ones to make them look a little different than the others. They're all the same. So I'll have three of each of them, you know. That can be monotonous. But because they're orcs, uh, they have a sort of uniformity in, in their overall look. The individual models can be quite different. So they, they have different color pants. Um, for example, the three different, uh, the knobs that have the, the commander's coat over them like a cape. There's three of them. Well, they don't all have to be the same. So we got a, a tan one, a gray one, and an olive coat. So the same model, three different looks. Uh, very, that's really kind of cool. And of course, all the uh, accoutrements that go on there, all their details, the parts that they can all be paint, picked out differently. So, so they'll, on first look, from a tabletop distance, you're going to see 15 different models. But when you actually bring them close, you'll see that oh, there's some that are the same model, they're just colored very differently. And so that'll, that's, it's kind of nice, it won't get boring. And of course, I just like works. That's going to keep me busy now. Uh, so a couple things of this, this whole sickness thing got in the way of several video projects. I ignore the ones that I was trying to start. Um, obviously there have been no bat reps of any type for anything. Uh, I haven't been able to play as much games in general as I wanted to just because of the way I've been feeling. On top of that, this whole my series I wanted to put together for the this thing to Adepticon is pretty much shot because here we are three weeks away, well, yeah, three weeks away as I record this, and the good part of the story is already gone, so I'll still probably do one or two, kind of wrap to speed, uh, and then I will, just, I'll, I don't know what I'll do while I'm at Adepticon, we'll see. I see the more I talk, <laughs> the more the cough comes back, so, uh, yeah, excuse the strange edits that you might see, uh, or the sudden abrupt changes. Now, March is going to be a very interesting month. And uh, there's a lot of changes are going to happen around here, which is very good. Um, now, what we're going to see start, I'm going to be, again, I have two, there's another two weeks before this is a 100%, I can pull the trigger on it. But it looks like uh, in two weeks I'll be starting my Necron army. I'll, I'll place my order from Forge World for the Necron, my starting models. You know, start seeing that uh, unfold. So we'll have a whole Necron Tomb World Awakening series um, that will just carry me through probably the, at least the year, if not longer, as the army develops. But in addition to that, I'll be finishing out the rest of the pl my 8th Rifles and 10th Dragoon Platoons in bolt action. Both of those We'll come, uh, I'll buy the, the additional models, so I'll have two complete platoons, one from each. And the Dragoons will actually have four half-tracks, which is what they'll need for their, um, to be a, a full platoon motorized. Now one of the additional steps in finishing out the 10th Dragoons will be creating the uh, Morris, sorry, the Morris, the Lloyd Tractor. Uh, it's kind of it's Lloyd Carrier. It's kind of like a brand, but only a little bit larger. But Worldler doesn't make a model. I haven't seen a model in 28 millimeter. So I'll just kit bash scratch build one. Uh, fortunately, uh, it was designed to use to be a larger version, using exactly the, as much of the commercially available parts that they could come up with. So most of what you see in a brand would be in this. So I can actually do a lot of cutting of a brand, two brands build them out, put them together. Now, the undercarriage would be very easy to splice. The rest of the model will be a little more difficult. The engine's in a different spot. Uh, the hood's different. Some of the panels, uh, armor, the hull side is different. It'll be kind of fun. Now, I don't know when I'll start that because that's going to be a, a, a big project. You know, having to do with actually cutting sheets that are in to make the right panels and all. Uh, so that will be the only other piece of the Tetris Dragoons I might need to do to go with, to be able to tow their anti-tank gun. Uh, it's not required, it's just a project I'm looking at doing. I still have to start working on the, the Klingon D7 uh, for next New Year Pain Challenge. I'm going to get that one done this year. So that's going to 
start sooner, sooner than later. I do need to pick up a couple different paints because I was looking at the actual, the, I got the paints to match the colors that are suggested in the kit instructions. But as I researched the actual production model that was used in the actual first season, or uh, first, the original series season uh, episodes, they, colors are different. There's a pale green and gray, so uh, I've got to get a couple different paints uh, for that. Uh, I also want to wait till I actually get an airbrush. Uh, sorry, I have an airbrush, but another airbrush. I want to have, in this case, a, a, another internal mix, dual action, top feed, and I want to get a fine tip. Um, I've got the current one with a medium tip. I want a fine tip so I can do some some other work on with it. I also get a medium tip for for that one as well, but. Once I get that, I'll be able to do a lot of things I want to do with the D7 that I can't do with the current airbrush. Of course, I have to finish with the projects I've got that are currently in flight, the tanks. And I have a Challenger, um, sorry, Crusader Mark III and air tank for my Polish First Armor Division. That's uh, coming, and I'll be having to build that and paint that up. So that's another tank project um, about to hit. And then, of course, there is Adepticon in at the end of March. So that's going to be a pretty packed month. Uh, pretty exciting. Uh, the Tau Codex and Necron Codex are both supposed to drop soon. So I'm excited about that. I'll be getting both of those. And we'll see where that takes me. I don't think I'm going to do anything special with the Tau um, model-wise. I pretty much have the army I want, almost. Um, I want to have more Hammerheads and more devilfish, just because I want more of those. But I also want more riptides, just because I, I, well, I don't want a whole lot, but I, I wouldn't mind having another one. Of course, they're ridiculously inefficient right now. I don't know what the codex is going to hold, so I'm not buying anything. I'd really like to avoid getting the ghost keels and the storm surge, because it doesn't fit my idea of my army. I might like to get some piranhas instead. You know, there's some other things I want to do. But we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't, don't have any ideas about what I'm gonna do, and we'll see what happens when the codex drops. Necrons. Like I said that one's a completely new approach. I'm following the reanimation protocols. Uh, or sorry, the awakening protocols in the tomb world, starting with uh, the wraiths, the spiders, the scarabs, and the warriors, and then adding stuff like tomb blades, ghost arc, and night sides. Night sides, yeah. And then Immortals. And then from there, kind of branching out, dependent upon what I face on the tabletop. Just, you know, I'll have to explain that more when it, when it comes, but I'm looking forward to that. Um, kind of always wanted to play with the Necrons. I just like the, the, the concept, the image of this relentless, massive metal automatons coming at you. Well, guys, it's been, <laughs> I've been at this for 20 minutes, and it's actually getting difficult to, to talk. For any length of time, so I was going to kind of cut it short. At least you guys know what's going on. I'm sort of back. Um, I'll try to put out the content that I can. Um, what I'll try to do is showcase the the, uh, the tank busters. You know how those are going. Um, when the decals come in, of course, I'll start doing. I'll start f picking up on the tank projects. Um, we'll just see how things go. I'm going to try to. Do an academy video again. Uh, again, it depends on how the day goes on. I might have to do this time is wait until the weekend, Saturday morning or Sunday morning, record it, and then of course it'll be available the week following. So, no guarantees of an academy video this week, but most likely the following. I hope the sound of this is okay with my voice being so weak. Well, anyway, um, I do want to mention one last thing, and I am really thrilled. I know it doesn't look like it the way I'm talking, but <clears throat> even while I was out being sick this whole time, I had over 20 subs subscribers added, and now I'm over. I'm at 200 plus. Um, it was 201. It's down to 200 as of today, which is the last day of February. That's remarkable. Um, so, uh, thank you for joining me. I'm going to. Give us some thought. I'm going to put actually put together a 200 uh, subscriber giveaway. 
I've uh, been wanting to do that for over a year now, and it's really, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to give away yet as far as specifics, but it's, it's going to be worth it. Um, so, anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Um, <clears throat> one quick um, thing I'm probably not going to do, given the, the everything that's about to happen and the way I still feel, is I probably, unlike what I was intending, I probably won't be participating in Nick's uh, bridge terrain co uh, corner competition or terrain square competition. I'm trying to do a bridge on top of my other stuff and Adepticon, maybe I'm trying to bite off too much. So, so thanks again for sticking with me. Uh, thank you. You're welcome to the new subscribers and uh, stay tuned. We'll see. I'll uh, slowly get start getting more content out uh, now that I'm sort of back. So thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.